Yes, that's right. For more than three decades, the commercial aircraft market has been dominated by two brands, Boeing and Airbus. And there is still no third force that can truly participate in this market with a revenue of nearly a trillion dollars. Indeed, domination cannot be eliminated in a day or two. So what are the advantages of these two manufacturers' planes, and what are the differences between them? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be the first to see our next videos. Now, let's dive in. The first is the big difference in how pilots fly the plane. Boeing aircraft use yoke, while it will be stick for Airbus. However, did you know that before that, the yoke was present in every cockpit as one of the indispensable control parts? And of course, Airbus aircraft are no exception. A predecessor to the A320 family, the aircraft was controlled by a central yoke in the cockpit. At this time, yoke was the sole controller in the industry. Things turned around when in 1985, Airbus began using the fly-by-wire system on aircraft to replace the manual flight control system. With the use of the new system, the side stick began operating in the Airbus cockpit. Previously, side levers were only common on fighter aircraft such as the F-16 or Dassault Rafale. This is a system that replaces the aircraft's conventional manual flight controls with an electronic interface. In a fly-by-wire control system, pilot inputs are transmitted to a computer, which then interprets these inputs and makes adjustments to the control surfaces electronically. This technology offers several advantages, including increased efficiency, enhanced safety features, and the ability to deploy flight envelope protection systems. Boeing and Airbus have historically had different design philosophies when developing aircraft. Airbus was an early adopter of fly-by-wire technology and has integrated it into its commercial aircraft models such as the A320, A330, A350, and A380. Airbus has used fly-by-wire systems to enhance aircraft performance, improve handling characteristics, and implement advanced automation features. On the other hand, Boeing is more cautious in its approach to applying fly-by-wire technology on its commercial aircraft. Boeing has traditionally favored the philosophy of maintaining some level of direct mechanical control in critical flight control systems. Although Boeing has introduced some flight control systems on its aircraft, such as on the Boeing 777 and 787 Dreamliner, its implementation is more limited than that of Airbus. And this difference has also caused debates about which one is better. One side argues that the stick helps pilots be more comfortable during flights, and the design helps pilots stay within safe limits, comfortably operating computers and touch screens with one hand. The other side in favor of using yokes believes that yokes are an important tool for operating aircraft in an emergency, and confirms that the yoke design retains more general flying skills as well as the ability to coordinate between the captain and co-pilot. How about you? Which one is your favorite? If it's the yoke, then comment number zero. Otherwise, comment number one if you prefer the stick. Next is the difference in direction of movement and door opening mechanism on Boeing and Airbus aircraft. With Boeing aircraft, the doors are usually opened horizontally. When opening the door, you usually need to turn the lever from left to right. This action causes the door to flip open, revealing its cabin. This usually requires a more rotational motion. On the other hand, Airbus doors are opened, parallel to the fuselage. To open it, you move the lever from the bottom up. This movement allows the door to run parallel to the fuselage when opened. Due to these different setups, it may take more effort for the crew to close the door on a Boeing aircraft than on an Airbus. The next difference is the barking dog sound coming from Airbus aircraft, especially the two twin-engine aircraft A320 and A330. Almost all passengers have encountered this sound at one time or another, and flight crews rarely explain it, leaving passengers confused and sometimes worried. Because this noise is like the sound of an engine constantly trying but unable to start. It is reasonable for people to think that something is wrong. What you hear, however, is a device called a power transmission unit, or PTU, which is designed to ensure adequate hydraulic pressure during operation of an engine. Each motor typically pressurizes its own hydraulic system, but if one motor fails, the system has no power. That's when the PTU appears. 
helping to power the left side or power the right side. Since it is only activated when the pressure drops below a certain level, the PTU will cycle on and off. Due to pressure fluctuations, noise sometimes continues even when both engines are running. Some Boeing aircraft also use PTU, but it works a little differently and it doesn't bark like a dog. Next, looking at historical relationships in general, Boeing has a long history associated with the early days of aviation and important connections with major airlines in the US. Airbus, although younger, has significant influence in the European region. Boeing's political influence is closely tied to the United States, while Airbus is often supported by European airlines and governments. Both companies promote technological advancements in the aviation industry. Boeing's contributions date back to the early 20th century, while Airbus has been a key innovator since its founding in the 1970s. Specifically, Boeing has a long history dating back to 1916 by the founding of William Boeing. The initial development product was a single-engine, two-seat aircraft. The company made an important contribution during World War I when it produced flying boats for the U.S. Navy. Boeing has played a key role in shaping the commercial aviation industry, pioneering many advances in aircraft technology, and has a history associated with the formation and development of United Airlines. Meanwhile, Airbus entered the market in the 1970s as a European corporation. They hoped to be able to provide an alternative to American manufacturers like Boeing. Airbus promotes long-term partnerships with major employers across Europe. At the same time, they promoted strong ties with French, German, and Spanish airlines to receive support due to economic and political considerations in the region. Not only does they have a strong impact on the development and growth of the European commercial aviation industry. Furthermore, Airbus does not hesitate to compete globally as it continuously competes with Boeing for market leadership, promoting innovation in aircraft design and technology. Finally, although both manufacturers are always mentioned as giants in commercial aircraft production, in reality they are more than that. Airbus, in addition to operating in the commercial aircraft sector, also operates in the helicopter, defense, and space sectors. At the same time, Boeing's business areas include commercial, space, and defense. Recently, on June 5th, Boeing successfully launched the Starliner for the first time, carrying two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station after many problems. This success for Boeing could mark a new turning point, paving the way for similar missions in the future, and create competition with SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. Airbus is not to be outdone. They penetrated a market that Boeing had never appeared in, the civil helicopter market. The European manufacturer's helicopter collection ranges from light to heavy, single engine to twin engine. Airbus Helicopters is holding a 54% share of the civil and public helicopter market after delivering 346 helicopters in 2023. Despite the ongoing global inflation and geopolitical instability, the growth of the company is still at a stable level. Although not participating in the civil helicopter market, Boeing plays an extremely important role in military helicopters. The CH-47 Chinook used to transport troops and heavy weapons for air support on the battlefield is a product of this manufacturer. This is the heavy helicopter chosen by the U.S. military as well as other countries with more than 20 operators worldwide. The multi-role and tandem rotor helicopter has proven its capabilities in addition to transporting goods and troops. It can also perform search and rescue, evacuation, and other special operations. This aircraft has been in service since 1962. Today, the MH-139A is a multi-role helicopter developed by Boeing for the U.S. Air Force. In the future, it will be used specifically for strategic level missions, including transporting high-ranking military leaders and ensuring the safety of testing sites and nuclear facilities. In short, Airbus is a major player in the civil helicopter market with many diverse models, while Boeing is the dominant force in the military helicopter market, famous for its innovative, iconic, and highly specialized military helicopters. As they compete for market leadership, their advancements shape the future of aviation, benefiting airlines and passengers around the world. Their constant competition ensures constant innovation and excellence in this industry. And just now are some of the most obvious differences between these two aircraft manufacturers. 
If you know any other differences, please share by commenting below this video.